today I'm here to tell you to stop wasting your money on nail salon quality nails and start doing your own nails at home. It's actually crazy how much nail salons charge for regular Gelex sets. They charge up to $200 for a simple set. Like what ordinary girl is able to afford that every month? And that's exactly the reason why I started doing my own nails seven years ago. My mom used to do her own nails at home so I learned a lot from her as well as a lot of YouTubers on YouTube that do their own nails. So I'm going to give you guys a little beginner friendly tutorial and show you guys everything you need to get started with Gelex nail designs. I'm very design based. Like I go very crazy with all the designs and they might look very crazy but they're not difficult at all. And so I'm going to show you guys every finger step by step the nail design tutorial as well as the application for Gelex nails. If you don't know where to start, how to start, this video is perfect for you. So watch until the end because I'll go into every single detail, how to make your nails last four to five weeks, everything honestly. And if I missed anything in this video, please comment down below and ask me questions. I'll be replying to all my comments in this video. So if you have any questions that are not mentioned in this video, please comment down below. Hope you guys enjoy the video and without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Before I get started with the tutorial, I want to quickly show you guys my favorite jelly polishes from Born Pretty. I got a lot of questions asking me which jelly polishes I recommend and Born Pretty has a ton of series on jelly polishes. These are some of my favorites that I laid out for you guys. I use these Born Pretty polishes in almost every video recently, so if you guys want to see some tutorials using these colors, Go ahead and watch my other tutorials of course i'll be using one of them today as well so if you're interested the link is down below and go check it out so these are how my natural nails look currently i've been trying to grow them out for the longest time but i just feel like they're just too fragile they get in the way of doing things so i'm gonna cut them short and try to regrow them even stronger this time hopefully i think one of the reasons that they're so weak and brittle is because i stopped using the peel off base coat but today i'm gonna go on that again because i feel like it really helps me preserve my natural nails when i'm doing two to three sets every month so I'll show you guys that step as well. I buffed my nails lightly and then I'm going in with a cuticle nipper to nip the dead skin that are around my cuticle and my nail plate. You guys don't need to do this step if you're not comfortable with a cuticle nipper, but I feel like cleaning up your cuticles really, really help with um, long lasting gel -like sets. I don't know, that's just my opinion. I feel like it's made a big difference in how long my gel -like sets last. So yeah, now I'm wiping down my nails with some alcohols, um, sanitizing alcohol, anything that you have that just removes the natural oils off your nail plate. And yeah, I'm also using a cotton tool like this to really get into my cuticle and clean it up so there's no dead skin or any dust left on my nails. Now I'm gonna go in with some dehydrator and apply it on all of my nails. Dehydrator is a key step in making your nails gel -like sets last four to five weeks. Now I'm going in with a peel off base coat. If you guys don't want your nails to pop off in the next week or two, please replace this step with just regular gel nail glue. I'm just doing this to preserve my natural nails since I change up my nails a lot. But just replace that step with gel nail glue. Now I'm choosing my sizes with the Praise Gelix in medium stiletto. These are probably my favorite shape ever from the Appraised Gelix brand. I've been using it for over a year and I haven't changed my shape whatsoever. Anyways, I'm buffing and etching the inside of the extensions. This is also to make the nails last longer. You want a lot of grip on that extension as well as your nail plate and that's why we want to buff. Now I'm going in with some nail glue and applying it a little bit below my cuticle. I'm leaving a little bit of space if you can tell or not. But yeah, you want to cure each finger for 25 seconds. When you apply the glue, don't apply too much. I feel like this is a skill you're going to learn as you practice gel -X nails, but the skill of applying the right amount. You don't want the gel -X flowing, overflowing everywhere near the cuticle, near your free edge. All these things I feel like it comes with practice but you can retry it the great thing about gel is it's not it's not like 
permanent until you cure it with the flashing light. So you can try as much as you want and then cure it when you're satisfied with it. But yeah. Now I'm going with buffing, buffing again so the gel sticks really well. Texture is everything, you just want to texturize everything before putting on products so they really soak in and stick. Now it's time to seal the cuticle with some little bit of acetone. I use 100% acetone and I apply it near the cuticle. Acetone melts plastic so this way the extension is going to melt perfectly onto your natural nail and give it that seamless look for the design and the base to go on. My favorite base nude to use is the OPI Bare My Soul and I'm going to apply two layers of this on every nail and cure that each for 60 seconds. So now that I have the perfect nude for the base for my designs, I'm going to start with my index finger. I'm going to show you guys finger by finger, step by step, how to do these designs. I'll show you guys my inspo photos on the screen so you guys can see what my inspo is. I just kind of grab little inspo from Pinterest and things and just create my own design with it. But I'm starting with a regular Frenchie with just white gel polish and using a liner brush like this, I create the Frenchie look. I cure that for 60 seconds, then I grabbed a sponge and applied some of that Born Pretty polish I was showing you guys in number one, shade number one. And then I'm using a darker color to kind of dot it into a orchid design. I'll just show you guys. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds and then grab my hard gel and create a mo water molecule design. This is actually really easy to do. You just want to glob that onto your nail and kind of go in a circular motion with your brush around that hard gel so to create the perfect round bubble look and cure that immediately after. You don't want to let it sit and like flatten out. And I'm going to top coat that so it's all protected and sealed. And that's it for the index finger. Let's move on to the middle finger. I'm using the matte top coat to apply it on the whole nail, um, cure it for 60 seconds. The reason I did that is because I'm going to be doing a chrome design. And whenever you use chrome powder, you want the base to be matte or buffed. Or anything if you don't have a matte top coat it's fine you can use a buffer and just take the shine away I'm using the solid gel to create a flower design there's a ton of um, detailed tutorials on TikTok, but I kind of just rolled these solid gels up into balls and then put five like a petal and just press down on it with a tool like this I use a silicone tool um, and then I'm going in with some Beatles black polish and applying that all over the flower. I kind of wanted to leave some spaces out and not apply black polish on it because wherever you're going to apply the black polish is where the chrome is going to stick to. So whenever I use gold chrome, I really, really like to use black polish underneath because when I apply the gold powder, it really really shines when you use a black base and you guys can tell wherever I put the gold the black is like the gold is sticking to only the black and the matte that's the reason I did the matte top coat in the beginning so the powder doesn't stick I don't know if that made sense but now I'm applying some um, pearl details to make it cuter and I'm gonna top coat that and cure that for 60 seconds Now moving on to the ring finger, I'm going to do the same thing and apply a thin layer of matte top coat and cure that for 60 seconds. The reason I wanted to do that is because I'm going to be doing a aura design using eyeshadow. I know a lot of people use airbrushes to do aura designs, but I feel like those are just so messy and it's a lot to clean up and eyeshadows are so much easier to use and super quick. 
So yeah, I'm using the Morphe palette by the way. I forgot to show you guys, but then I'm using the same white polish as the French nail design on my index finger and um, drawing some really cute thin lines. You guys will see the vision. Like I will put up a photo of what I was going for. And I also had these really cute flower charms that I wanted to use for the longest time. So I just added them. And I'm also gonna add some little gold beads because the theme of this design is to go for a lot of gold so i top coated that now we're moving on to my pinky finger this is probably my favorite design so far i just came up with it on my own i don't have an inspo photo for this but i just started drawing a french line and then some smaller thinner lines on the bottom kind of create like a ring a wave of french nail lines and yeah I added top coat on top of that and then yeah added some gold on it I forgot to film the black lines I did but you guys can see the detail um, now I'm adding more gold beads to kind of bring in together the design and yeah cure that for 60 seconds apply top coat and cure that again now moving on to the last finger, my thumb, I'm going to apply matte top coat again because I wanted to do the aura design. I felt like the pink wasn't really, uh, pink was the missing part of this design. I feel like I wanted it to be more girly, not just gold. So I did a pink aura and I'm applying hard gel on top and creating like a ring, a ring of hard gel. I'm going to show you guys the inspo photo. and cure that with my flash cure lamp and I'm applying just gold powder I didn't apply black polish for this I just wanted to be a subtle gold I'm applying some little hints and details at the end applying some charms um, gold pearls and top coating that and that's the finished look for this design I hope it was detailed enough don't forget to moisturize your cuticles and if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.